1. Attraction is a game of 80% psychology, 20% biology. Most men assume that attraction is about biology, about being more handsome, jacked, rich, genetically gifted, etc. than the next man. But nothing could be further from the truth. The single most attractive guy I know struggles to date the high-quality women he desires. Whereas some of my friends who are ugly and broke have some of the most amazing partners on the planet. Why? Because, on average, women care more about how you make them feel than how you look, how much you earn, or how many abs you have. 2. Making money is great, keeping it is better. One of the biggest mistakes I see men making in their 20s is conflating a high income with wealth. I know guys who make multiple six figures every month, but they're completely broke. They have multiple vacation homes, expensive cars they never drive, $10,000 suits, and a whole host of other vanity items that suck their net worth dry. How much you make is important. It's a lot easier to achieve financial freedom making $150,000 a year than it is $30,000. But how much you keep matters infinitely more. 3. You are the only one in control of your feelings. How many times have you heard or said the following? They just make me feel so angry. Let's set the record straight. This is complete bullshit. No one has the power to control how you feel. Ever. Period. You and you alone are responsible for your emotional state. Good and bad. No one can make you feel happy, sad, pissed off, confused, angry, etc. without your permission. You are always in charge of your emotions and you must take responsibility for them always. 4. How to take care of your health. If you don't know how to cook healthy meals, follow a simple exercise program, prioritize and get high quality sleep, manage stress, and take care of your body. Stop what you're doing right now and go spend the next 16 hours pouring through everything from Legion Athletics, Bulletproof, and Ben Greenfield. Nothing will have a bigger impact on your quality of life than your health and if you didn't prioritize this in your 20s, you must start today. 5. How to start a conversation with a stranger. The quality of my life is a result of my ability to spark connections with complete strangers. Much of my business success is a result of the amazing friends in my network whom I met by starting up conversations with people I didn't know. All of my romantic success is a result of starting up conversations with attractive women I didn't know. If you don't know how to meet someone new without being creepy or weird, learn how. Yesterday. 6. Size actually doesn't matter. Sex and most female pleasure are again, psychological, not biological. It's about how the woman you're with feels about you and how you make them feel about themselves. Want to make mind-blowing love. Make her feel wanted, desired. Make her the sole center of your attention and make her feel like the most beautiful, sexy, and exciting thing on the planet. I don't care how big your member is or how long you can last in the sack. If you don't know how to move a woman intellectually and emotionally. If you don't know how to arouse her psychologically and create an experience with her. You're leaving a lot of pleasure on the table for both you and her. Sex is a physical expression of an emotion. The more you can build the emotion before sealing the deal the better the experience will be. 7. Know who you are and what you want. Your 20s are a time of self-discovery. They're meant to be messed up. But by the time you hit 30, you should have some sense or semblance of what you want to do in this world and whom you believe yourself to be. If you're still trying to find your passion, stop. Pick one thing that you like and commit to mastering that one thing. Success isn't about passion. It's about mastery. About committing to the long game and getting good at a valuable skill. Your 20s are the time to master that skill and lay the foundation for your future. You've had your fun in your teens. Now it's time to get to work.